was um, 40th birthday present. Pretty cool, I always wanted one of those. Oh, oh no! Chopped the roof. Oh, chopped it good too. Everyone knows Shannon Oll was robbed on Australian Idol in 2003. Guy Sebastian. But like John Howard and Stovepipe Jeans, Nolsey's popularity waned over the years. That was until 2016, when a petition for him to headline Groove in the Moo went viral, sparking a hot fire comeback. But what's better, internet fame or just the regular kind? And is there even a difference anymore? We chatted to the boy from Condo to find out. Do you remember like the first post? Yeah, I, yeah, I remember the, the post, because every year they do, the guys in town in the music industry do a, a five, it's called Five Songs in 50 Days. And they have this American producer comes out and he'd do a, a fish taco night every Wednesday night. And I never in there on that night, you know, because I'd come home and stay with the family and that. So one time I went, bugger it, I'll cook them. I'll cook them myself, you know. So I cooked them at home and I did not even think about it, you know. And I'm going like, yes, check out these bad boys. And then automatically that, that's how it started. So people going like, yeah, but that's not the first fish taco. And I was in, I went, oh, and I did set, went, oh, no. And then uh, a couple of weeks later, there's a $5 note in the street on the ground. And I picked it up and it like had stains on it, little rips out of it. And it was just so in interesting to me. I just thought, wow, this, if this $5 note could talk, my God, it'd have some stories. Because it looks like it's been through a lot, you know what I mean? So I posted a photo of that. Then, of course, everyone started going, oh, yeah, that's my $5 note. Can you get it back to me whenever you can? You know, it's Nolsey, you know, me that $5. So then the, the first part was Nolsey, oh, you know, but the sexual innuendo part. And then, then the loaning part came from that $5 note. Oh, and then it just morphed into whip snippers and Harry Potter box sets and... All this other crazy stuff. Some of them are really, really funny. They've never been like derogatory or nasty. They just, they've just been, you know, good old-fashioned Aussie taking a piss. You know, That's what it is. It's kind of perfect. Know? Yeah, yes. No doubt, I give them a fair bit of fun over the years to, <laughs> to work with. <laughs> and I, I reckon I really walked a fine line with people not knowing if I knew what I was doing or not with it. Yeah, Whereas I'm still I'd, not sure. Off the whole time, I knew. As soon as it started, kicked off a little bit. I'd. I'd knew what I was saying is I'd always look at something in a way to see how it could fire them off. Yeah, because yeah. just attraction's great, you know. Um, it's, in my business, it's, it's awareness and promotion. That's organically growing by itself, which is, you know, brilliant marketing if you were trying to achieve it. Let alone, it's insane. Let alone it happening on its own accord, you know. Nolsey, you flippin' Big, juicy T-bone. Voted by the singing I'm just hitting your table, I'm just pulling your stirrup. Roots up, I'll fuck her off. So this painting here is me mate Wox, so, uh, I'll get that back to you, mate. Just a shout out to Dave -o. I'll have your boat back to you, mate. Um, just been a bit busy lately, but I'm, I'll, I'm sure I'll get it back to you soon. Borrow this off someone too. I'm not sure who, but it works a treat. So, mate, lend me this uh, dehydrator. Dehydrate all my chilies and make some jerky. I told him I lost it. He'd probably see this and want it back now. <laughs> He's not getting it back. I don't know where this bloke came from. I've been trying to give him back. Who am I? Huh? Huh? No, I wouldn't give you back, buddy. How has this affected your career financially, do you think? Yeah, I did this gig a few years ago, and it was a real rock pub, and it was, the numbers weren't great. It was just over 100 or just under 100. And then as soon as this thing took over, I sold it out two nights in a row at 450 people. Before, there was always a pockets of young people at every gig. There'd be five or six young blokes who were riding, no, you know. And now there's young, there groups of young girls as well. There's as many young girls as there is young blokes now. I'm thankful for it, as I am for any fan. You know, the most important people in the music industry are the, are the public. So that's the only reason that any of us have a career. Got a mate up here who wants to just make a quick announcement. He's got something special he wants to say. Sarah Bruce, would you please get up here? But I think in this day and age of political correctness and all that sort of stuff, they sort of enjoy that, you know, I'm a bit of a larrigan, yeah, a bit boganish. But you it's know? you, you're yeah, not playing it up. Yeah, exactly, 100%. So, we better get me out of the fridge. What have we got here? So that is real, you do love cooking. Yeah, 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 if I'm cutting up veggies then, that means I can actually relax. When you, as soon as you walk out the door, you, it's work, you know, you've got to be on. No in print of salad. No in print of salad. No in print of salad. Someone said in an article, oh, he's had some ups, but so many downs. I mean, oh. you're. F <laughs> <laughs>
freaking kidding me? Come on. So many downs. You haven't paid any attention to the ups in. Wanker, do some research. Uh, they're MTV Male Artist of the Year awards. Right. And you won three in a row. Yeah, three in a row, yeah. And then they just didn't do that category anymore after that. <laughs> I went down. Come on! <laughs> it's funny, but because my um, my booking agent after the last thing happened, he went, "Wow, oh, this this is so awesome." Are you kidding? How do you see that? And he went, "Mate, this is the making of a rock star." That's what they'll say down the track. <laughs> tell your mum that. <laughs> yeah, so I should have said, "Can you tell me, mum that?" And the missus too. Yeah. While you're at it, she's not real happy. <laughs> What about sort of like going down to the pub and having a beer at the pub? Yeah, yeah. Can you do that? Oh, I do, yeah, I do. Because I still sort of look at myself as the same bloke that I was when I was living in Condé, you know? I, I don't want to have this disconnect or be an island, you know what I mean? And not to be able to go anywhere or do anything. That's that hard part of, of not, not thinking you're any different than anybody else, but you do get treated differently, which you've got to sometimes be aware of. What do you find more enjoyable? Your fame pre-internet or your fame post-internet? Being a live, uh, a living meme or walking meme, whatever they say, I, I don't think that's necessarily a great something to be proud of and just, yeah, it helps. Because, you know, there are people that go like, oh, he doesn't even realise, but everyone thinks he's a joke. I sort of think, oh, I have to laugh myself. You can't be too serious about it, you know what I mean? But it's business at the end of the day. You know, I've got, I've got a family to feed, so, you know, whatever gives me the opportunity to be able to do that, I'll take it with both hands, as long as, as, long as I'm not, you know, making an absolute Oh, I can't say that either. <laughs> say it! I can't, can't say it. Well, as long as I'm absolutely don't make a <laughs> myself, but I've done that on a few pages too, so I can't really say that, can I? <laughs>